Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Game Gear games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen right now, you can see me playing some Sonic Drift. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store opens up, we're going to be searching for and installing two apps. The first one of these we're going to be searching for and installing is RetroArch. This is going to be a free multi emulator we're going to be using for our Android device. What we need to do is get this installed. The second thing we're going to be installing is Z Archiver. This is another free app that we're going to be using on our Android device. This is an app I'd recommend having on your phone regardless. It's a file management and compression software that's really useful. So the first thing we need to do is get both of these installed. Once you have both of these installed, we're going to be opening up RetroArch for the first time. Once that's done, we're going to be opening up RetroArch for the first time. And if this is your first time opening the app, you're going to have to allow it access to your phone storage as we're going to be needing to locate to our games a little bit later on. Once that's done, what we're going to be doing is clicking on the load core option at the very top and here we're going to see a list of all currently downloaded and installed cores in this case you probably have no cores so what we're going to be doing is clicking the download a core option right here and here we'll see a list of all available cores what we're going to be doing is scrolling all the way down until we see the sega option and then we're going to be looking for sega-ms-gg-md-cd or the genesis plus gx core what we're going to be doing is clicking on this you'll see some text appear at the bottom and that means our core is currently installing once this text disappears, your core will be installed and set up correctly. From this point, we can back out of here. We're going to be clicking load core. And now we're going to be clicking on the core that we just downloaded, which is right here. Simply click this and then your core will be selected and loaded. From this point, we're ready to talk about games and we're going to be ready to extract our games using the archiver. From this point, we can back out of RetroArch and now it's time to load up and talk about our games. So this is where the archiver comes in. What we're going to be doing is opening this up and then locating to where our games are. For me, I currently have a dedicated Game Gear folder, so that's where I keep my games. And at the moment, I have Sonic Drift.zip in here. So most likely your games will come in a .zip, maybe a .rar or even a 7-zip file. And that's what we're going to be using the archiver for is to extract our games out of here into a format that RetroArch can read. So once you've downloaded your games, what we're going to be doing is clicking your game once. And you'll have two options here that we're going to be using. One is the extract here, which is going to extract the game in its current location. Or we have extract dot 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 that is going to extract the game to a different location that you can choose. In this case, since I have the dedicated folder, I'm just going to be clicking extract here, which is going to extract the game in the current location. And you can see I have Sonic Drift dot GG. And that's the type of file format we're looking for. We're looking for dot GG files that Game Gear can read or Game Gear files. And I will also mention, I'm not going to be showing you today's video or to download games, although games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. And then all you do is follow this process to extract your games. From this point, we can head back over to RetroArch and we already have our core loaded up, so we don't need to worry about that. All we need to do is click on the load content option and then locate to where your games are downloaded. In this case, I already have my Game Gear folder created from previously. What we're going to be doing is clicking on the sonicdrift.gg file. If you do have multiple cores for the same emulator or that support the same file, it will ask you to select here. In this case, I'm going to be selecting the Genesis Plus core that we installed before. Click this and then your game will load up. And now if your phone is auto rotate enabled, you can simply rotate your phone to the side and you're playing Sega Game Gear games. So now that we have our game loaded up to actually go back to the menu, what we need to do is click the RetroArch icon in the middle. And here we can have our menu opened up. We can see we can continue, resume, close content. So you can really easily close your game, load up something else or go back to the menus from this point. You also have the option for the menu on the bottom right of our screen. And here we can see our drivers, video, audio, input, and a bunch of other things. If you want to set up a controller, you can easily come to the input tab right here. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see the option for port one binds, port two binds, etc. Here you can set up the port bindings for your controllers. In this case, you'd be using port one in the most case. And you can set up to an external Bluetooth controller if you want, so you don't have to use the on-screen controls, which make it a lot better and make the experience much more enjoyable. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play Sega Game Gear games on your Android device. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.